In a previous D&D, Dungeons & Dragons podcast, uh, we explored this idea, or I should say I asked the question, how long should an average game of D&D take? I mean, there have been times where I've been running a campaign, and uh, literally for a couple of months, every other Saturday, we, we played from like 10 in the morning to like 8 at night on there. And it was really some memorable, memorable games. But that's a very, very rare exception. Most of my D&D games, a gaming session is three or four hours. And then on the war gaming side, Battletech, an average Battletech game for me lasts about five or six hours on there. So why not turn it over to the board gaming side, that aspect of the hobby, which I enjoy, and, and toss it out there to you guys on my channel that are board gaming enthusiasts. What is your average play time? for board games. And what I mean by that is this this middle area, this sweet spot where you feel like you got in a good amount. You know, you got in that that solid gaming experience for the week. It'll carry you through the week. You're feeling pretty good. But at the same time, it's just not a drag. It's not like you played forever and ever and ever and you just wish the game to end on there. So, not too short, not too long. Unless it's a very very specific Game, um, almost what I want to call is a micro game. Uh, examples: uh, Forbidden Island, uh, Dracon. These are small little games, filler games, maybe you call them. Different groups call them different things. They're meant to play in an hour or less. They're the type of game where maybe you warm up for the main event while you're waiting for everyone else to arrive, or for whatever reason the strategy didn't work. The game ended early. You've got an hour to go. Nobody wants to go home. You you pull out these light kind of filler slash party games on there. That's the exception of a game that should last an hour. But if we're having the main event, if it's the main attraction, uh, an hour, an hour and a half is, is too short, in my opinion, on there. I'm just getting into the, the gaming mode. You know, I'm thinking about different strategies. I'm thinking about how it's going to evolve out, how it's going to end. That feels a little short. But likewise four, five, six hours, unless it's something like Arkham or Descent First Edition, Twilight Imperium, where we're going in, you know, like, look, this is, this is an experience, you know, this is a, a, a literally an all-day type affair. If I'm not going in with that mindset for that game, if it's an average title, I don't know, do I really want to play like four or five hours um, on there? And, and this is true for even games that I really, really enjoy playing on there. And this counts as one play session. So there are times that we've played Conan. I, I love Conan. Fantastic game. Um, we've played for four, five, six hours, but we've gotten in multiple, multiple scenarios. So I'm talking about one scenario or one playthrough. I feel like two and a half, three hours is solid. I, that's That's like the window that I would aim for because that lets you get into the game it lets you see the life cycle of the game you know the starting strategy the mid game moving to the end game how people or the team or you the players are going to win or the story is going to evolve it's enough where my brain feels full and i feel satisfied like okay you know i've got some stuff to think about during the week and i, I had a lot of fun and we can talk about different things without just absolutely draining me on there your thoughts Average game time and every box lies and is wrong. They either underreport the game or overreport the game. I'm not. I'm not even sure how they come up with those numbers. Some sort of algorithm. The Dark Souls, absolutely not with how that works. But your thoughts, your opinion on it, and in your gaming group, your meta, what is that that average sweet spot play time?